Laverne W. Hall tells the following story about faith. The fields out in West Kansas were parched and brown from lack of rain, and the crops lay wilting from thirst. People were anxious and irritable as they searched the sky for any sign of relief. Days turned into arid weeks. No rain came. The ministers of the local churches called for an hour of prayer on the town square the following Saturday. They requested that everyone bring an object of faith for inspiration. At high noon on the appointed Saturday, the townspeople showed up in masses, filling the square with anxious faces and hopeful hearts. The ministers were touched to see the variety of objects clutched in prayerful hands. Bibles, crosses, and rosaries were only a few of their faith symbols. When the hour of prayer ended, as if on magical command, a soft rain began to fall. Cheers swept the crowd as they held their treasured objects high in gratitude and praise. From the middle of the crowd, one faith symbol seemed to overshadow all the others. A small nine-year-old child had brought an umbrella. What a perfect pass. That's another first down for the Trinitines. She has really caught my attention with that story. I love imagining the little child being an example to everyone else in the crowd. I know what you mean, Shane. And it can be tough to get our attention in this point of the service. So starting with something clever will always make that first down. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is this. Our faith symbols may not look like your faith symbols. Our worship may not look like your favorite way to worship. Our faith language might not sound the same, but our questions, our answers, our doubts have a place in our church. Just as God used Mary, Jeremiah, Samuel, David, Timothy, God can use us to spread the good news about Jesus Christ today. Wow, did you hear that? That run by Donna puts them in the red zone. They're about to score another touchdown. <laughs> Solid interpretation, challenging point, seems like the word of God to me. Let's listen in for how Donna brings it home. Going back to the story from the beginning, people's Bibles and other faith symbols probably got all wet when God answered their prayers. The child actually brought an unusual but very useful faith symbol to the prayer meeting. From the young person's perspective, it made a lot of sense and showed faithfulness and trust in God. So we hope that you see us not as the future of the church, but as leaders, teachers, and members of the church today. We hope that you find, hear, and see God here today in worship, unusual as it might be. For in the ups and downs of our life together here at Trinity, you never know when you might need an umbrella. Amen.